at 6, the ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie is in Moss Landing for the next three weeks. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad is live at the harbor there to tell us who the ship sailed off with today. Erin, the ship's name is Lady Washington. She usually only takes passengers out on the weekends, but today, for Veterans Day, she made an exception along with her crew and they took out members of the military and their families for a cruise. Uh, it's Veterans Day. So came out with my husband and our friends just to enjoy the day and do something a little different. Megan Beckman and her husband Jeff, active duty Air Force, took their day off and played pirate for an afternoon. Um, went out, not a whole lot of wind today, so it was pretty calm, but it was really neat. I had a lot of fun. Lady Washington, a replica of the first American flagship to sail on the West Coast, is calling the Central Coast its home port for the next three weeks. We are one of the few that actually goes sailing on a regular basis, and, and they didn't have to do much prep work before we could be under sail and, and sail for them. The boat probably best known for the spotlight it got on the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Uh, the chance to get on a real-life pirate ship. Uh, how can you beat that opportunity? <laughs> Stern's on all the way. Clear water. The pseudo buccaneers running the operation, a mix of volunteers and part time staff. Well, some of them were dressed up pretty nice and they sang a few songs, but, you know, gave it a nice little spirit to it. While the ship got a lot of attention for the Disney movie that she starred in, uh, the main goal, the ship's crew says, is to educate the public about sailing history.